Hi, I'm the Overland Commander. Today we're turning over the newest expedition off-road trailer to Brian. Hi Randy, uh, my name is Brian Cullen uh, from Kansas City and here to pick up my wonderful new uh, Overland Command trailer. Good, all blacked out just the way I wanted it. Right. So Brian, how did you find Overland Command? So it was an accident. Um, I happened to be looking at uh, TFL online and uh, they had a short video of you and your new trailer. They, uh, I think the title was, um, you know, look at this uh, lightweight new trailer that yeah, was out. And the affordable video. The affordable did. video, yeah. yep. And so I started watching that just on a whim and I had been looking for a light trailer. Um, we do a lot of overlanding and I have a 2005 LJ. Uh, and I wanted to be able to pull the trailer with my LJ as well as my JK or my Gladiator. I wanted a trailer that could fit the needs of, of all my Jeeps. Um, we have a small uh, trailer with a rooftop tent on it now, um, but was really looking to, to upgrade and to get into something nicer. So um, th through that video, uh, it connected us. Okay. And what made you choose it after doing your research? What, what so, led you to us? So it was, a, it was a couple of things. I had actually been in contact with a few other trailer companies um, and, and had not gotten great response back. You were very responsive. Don't say names. Yep. Um, you were very responsive uh, to, to my request. Uh, and, and so reading on your website in terms of the, the lightweight trailer, uh, in terms of the options that I could get because I had some specific needs that I, that I wanted. Uh, and then being able to speak to you, uh, I think we were on the phone for probably an hour, an hour and a half on, on the first uh, time we spoke, um, ju just you know, ga gave me the information that I needed and, and the trust that I needed to uh, come over to Overland Command. Great. Was the process a good one for you, working with the build sheet the way we do and Ex defining what you needed? Yep, extremely simple. Um, I, I think, um, you know, having having access to you was was probably key for me that we could, and we did, we make changes on the fly. Um, you gave recommendations a, as well. And so talking right to the builder um, and having that access, I think made the process very, very smooth uh, for, for what I needed. And of course we price custom, so I don't want to say the price because sure. you know, and mislead anybody, sure. but were you happy with the pricing at the end of it? Extremely happy uh, compared to, to other companies and the options that I was looking for uh, and the customization. Uh, you guys did a uh, yeoman's job in, in getting what I wanted in a price point that was comfortable for me without feeling like I was spending an arm and a leg. Great. And now what kind of over, Overlanding or off-roading do you do? What is your use for the trailer? So we do um, We have a small group as I said out of Kansas City uh, And and we really like to hit the trails. We don't do a lot of rock crawling But obviously on some of those trails there, there are some difficult trails a lot of water crossings And what we like to do is explore the country mm -hmm. uh, and, and camp along the way sometimes we base camp but many times we spend our, our days on the trail driving to you know from point a to point b so it's a, uh, sort of a camping. true overland experience true you're, overland you're camping as you go and we carry everything with us waters uh toilet food fridges i mean everything go, goes with us and you're towing with jeeps you said you're, you're all jeeps we're all jeeps but yeah. but anyone's welcome we don't want right. <laughs> to say but that I mean, no for your all. use you're for all our jeep. use it's all jeeps okay. yeah yeah and so uh you know at 800 pounds we're towable even by your smaller jeeps Oh, for sure, for yeah, sure. I mean, and guys with Subarus can tow trailers. Like yeah, this. and and again, to me, that was one of the main driving factors of going ha having a trailer of this quality uh, and and having the weight down um, what was was really a, a main driver. I know you'll use it, and this answer might change. But what's your favorite feature in it as it stands today? Um, well, I will say probably my favorite feature is the rear galley because m my wife 
complains every time we go out and we have to set up our entire camp kitchen and if it's raining or whatever we have to set up our our uh, camp tent and and all that and so for her um it, it, i think i'm the most excited about that because we can just open it up when we get to a site it won't take us 30 minutes to set up now we park we open setup. the back and, and, and we're there yeah. so so that's probably my most favorite I mean, you level feature. it you level it you open it and you're there yeah. it's, it's a five minute setup yeah and, and, and it's my favorite feature because i don't have to listen to my wife complain and if she's going to watch this video sorry honey but it's true <laughs> Well, listen, I appreciate you doing this uh, and letting us uh, interview you as well on how you made your decision. Yes, sir. You know, being a new company, it's always good to be able to tell your story. Yeah. So thank you very much. This was fun to come out and, and do a delivery like this. Yeah. Well, thank you. And thank you for all the hard work. I mean, the craftsmanship is, is phenomenal. Um, and, and the finished product is is beyond my expectations. You see, and we talked about this, you see things in, in pictures, yeah. uh, but to see it in, in real life and in color, um it is uh i'm very very excited Fantastic. so thank you i'm happy to hear that thank you sir just want to thank overland command for uh giving me a beautiful trailer that i picked up here in kentucky and uh looking forward to the trip back and our first camping trip down in the ozarks in about two weeks so thank you randall for all your hard work uh, and thank you for a great finished product